Hi YouTube, hello everyone. I'm Mini Dobby and this is Mini Diaries episode 15. Thank you for clicking on my video. Hopefully you'll enjoy it enough to hit the thumbs up button. It'd also be cool if you could hit the subscribe button too. I'm going to be sharing my mini adventures with you. My Mini Diaries is a weekly vlog on and around classic minis. It's just about to get exciting as the summer's coming. The days are getting a little bit longer. There's a little bit more light and people are starting to appear in the minis and starting to work on them. So it'd be really cool if you could hit that subscribe button and stay along for the journey. I've booked my ticket for Himley Hall on the 13th of April. It means that I've got to get the mini up and running. I'd like to give it a little bit of a shakedown before I've got to go off to the show. I've also got a second project to show you, the rare Italian classic with the mini twist that's something worth staying tuned for and finally I'm going to be announcing the winner of my Vicoz race car box giveaway it's the last time that I'm going to be doing that as I thought it'd be best if I showed you how I use the products and how I got the mini ready for shows as I said though I'm going to be working on the mini I need to get it up and running I haven't got long left till Himley Hall but I'd like to get it up and running early so I can give it a little bit of a shakedown and go out on a few test runs too. I said I'd be back with a Mini and here I am. I chose to start with a nice easy job like fitting the clutch master cylinder. I bought a new one and took it apart to respray it in the matte black so it match the brake master cylinder. I think it's come out really well and it looks a lot better than the bare metal polish ones that you see about. It's a nice easy job to start with just fitting two nuts down there onto the threads. I won't do them too tight to start with, it's getting the clutch pedal into this bar here and fitting the clevis pin with a split pin can be nice and tight and fiddly. It is a job that takes a lot of persistence and I'm sure I'll get it done but once that's in there and that's fitted it's going to look a lot better than before. It's not going to stand out too much, it'll just be nice, subtle and clean. So can you see where the end of my finger is there? There's a little hole and the bar that comes down from the clutch master. I've got to fit that through it and then I can fit a split pin through the tiny hole in there and that's job done. So I managed to half fit the clutch master. I've got the clevis pin through but the split pin that I fitted through and position of the hole isn't in the right place it seems to have wobbled over and as I'm pushing the clutch pedal up that's knocking on the pedal box so I'm going to be fitting some washers to lock the split pin in place and stop that wobbling over whilst I'm driving up the road I don't want any sort of half clutch movements halfway through changing gear or well, that will cause some issues so I'd rather get it done properly now so I've had to take the clevis pin back out again I'll find some washers and I also <coughs> scrap that idea I bought myself a new clevis pin it is a little bit shorter than the other one so there will be no need for the washers I also bought myself an R pin as well 
it wasn't as cheap as what I thought it would be but apparently it should make the job easier it should be a lot easier to slide in than a fiddly little split pin I didn't mind paying out for it I got it quite quickly and I also thought if I measured it this once it means I could find it cheaper elsewhere next time I'm calling it an R pin it's approximately 20 mil long 7 mil wide and has a diameter of 1.2 mil hopefully with the shorter clevis pin this time it won't slide out and knock onto the pedal box and it shouldn't give me no clutch issues I've got myself a few tools it is nice and tight up there but I know with a bit of persistence I'll get it done hopefully also with that different type of split pin it's going to make my life a lot easier if you've ever done this job you know how difficult it can be sometimes I've swapped it round this time I've put the split pin on the inner side so it doesn't touch the pedal box to the left there come on the split pin So as you may have been able to see there, that split pin went in really easy. It does seem to hold the clevis pin nice and tight and it doesn't want to come back out too easily either. Hopefully that was a nice good buy and maybe I'll find a cheaper supplier and look to use them in the future. Before I forget, I've also got a new bleed nipple for the clutch slave. So I'm going to fit that whilst the system's still empty. I bled it so many times last year, I managed to wear the thread out, so it's always good to renew these serviceable items. Back in episode 9, I announced that I was going to do a Because Race Car Box giveaway. I reviewed February's box, I showed you all of the wicked contents were in there. I asked you to leave a comment below and I would choose a winner of that giveaway using a random comment selector. I also chose a winner for my previous giveaway which was Josh Smith and I accidentally managed to send him the wrong box I actually sent in February's box the one that I just reviewed so that means I'm here today with March's because race car box and it's the one that I'm going to be giving away today I'm going to be using that random comment picker in a minute but first I'd like to show you the box that I'm going to be giving away it is the last one I'm going to do unfortunately now having three different projects and with plenty of decent products coming up I think it would be good if I actually showed you the products on the camera and how I would use them how I get the car ready for shows marches because race car box pretty packed as per usual the new intro card is in there again I'm not quite sure on the, the race car this month it should be mine on there but in this box We've got a Wow Wow foam applicator pad, the standard microfiber cloth, Dodo Juice wax panel pot, 
Orange Crush, Dodo Juice back again, another Wicked Brand, Keep It Mint, I am starting to like their stuff, it's a quick detailer, I'm sure that will come in very handy. There's also a detailer for the wheels from Cosmic Detail, Stella Wheel Detailer. Although I think that's more of a cleaner than a detailer, as in like a finishing product. And last but not least, there's an air freshener from Emoji Fresh. Can't smell anything though. So the box is pretty packed. There are some decent brands in there. There are some good products and some products that I would like to use. Especially this one and the quick detailer from Keep It Mint. However though, I'm going to give this box away. And then next month's box, I have seen a quick little snippet of it. I am going to keep that one. I am going to review the products in there. And I am going to show you how I use them and how I'd use them on my projects. So now it's time to pick the winner again. Don't be upset if you don't win this time. As you can head over to Because Race Car Box. Go check them out on Instagram. Go and have a look at their website. Maybe buy a one-off box and decide from there if you'd like to subscribe. So it's time to use the random comment selector and choose a winner. I've got the page open here. I've also got the URL from episode 9. 14 unique comments and it filters out duplicate users as well it's quite helpful start the random winner they start to choose the random winner and the winner is Josh Smith again he must have a very lucky name seeing as he already won the February edition I'm sure he won't mind the March one to go with it I know he's got a very nice classic mini coming He's going to be spraying it soon, so I'm sure all of these products are going to be used. So I will be sending it up to him again. Don't forget to check Because Race Car Box out on Instagram. They've had some great boxes in the past. I'm really happy with my subscription. I've got plenty of boxes up on the wall there to show it. And I've also got a drawer full of products. Plenty of unique products and decent brands in there as well. So don't forget to go and check them out on Instagram. And if you subscribe, maybe you could let them know that I sent you them their way. If that makes sense. So here it is, my second project, the 1979 Innocenti Di Tommaso. It's a right hand drive hopefully not an import this car is a cousin to the classic mini back in 1974 British Leyland were partners with Innocenti or it was their business for the European market in 1974 it come as a 90L and a 120L in 1978 though British Leyland decided to drop in a centi and separate ways. At that time, there was an Italian designer, Di Tommaso. He picked in a centi up and he carried on selling the 90L and the 120L, but he also released his own model, the Di Tommaso model. It did come with all of the extras. Uh, it's got the arches on it. It's got the front bumpers. It comes with a Cooper detuned engine. I'm sure there are plenty of other features that I'm missing out on, but I love the design. It's a design by Batoni. So it's pure Italian with the mini twist, and it is particularly rare because it is a right hand drive model. Not many of these have been seen, if any at all. The ones that have been seen have been converted from later models. I'm hoping that this is a UK model though. There were some being sold in London in 1979. I've managed to find a review done at the time as well. That was on Maserati's daughter's car which was also a right hand drive model. 
there were very few of them about then. You would have seen, you've seen the poster that I picked up for it. And the translation to this is, look at the front well, because from today you'll see everything from behind. I don't think the translation's quite there. The idea of this project is to restore it to its former glory. Once again, I bought the project with my friend. I know my I'm unable to store this one so it is a little bit in the corner at the minute we are intending on doing the work to the car ourselves we're looking to strip the car down rebuild it and restore it along the way and bring it up to its original spec I have contacted a few people so far and very little is known about these as it was a very rare car I love the design of it and it could have been the replacement of the Metro so the other project that I've got is very in keeping with this one as well. They are all mini related. Unfortunately though we haven't tried starting the engine on this project. It is a Cooper S engine in there apparently. It's got the 11 stud head, it just hasn't got the twin carbs or the hot cam and at the time it was producing 74 brake horsepower so we're hoping with history that we could pick up from British Motor Heritage that we have a matching body and engine we can start to slowly restore it then and I'll be picking up all of the work to this project in mini diaries I'll be bringing the camera along every time I'm working on this I do think it's super exciting it should have been released and made a bigger thing in the UK market. I would like to keep it for myself, but I think I'm going to have to sell this one. But not just yet. Let's have some fun in restoring it. I'm hoping that I can stay true to the car. I think it's quite an art form when you restore something back to its original spec, back to how it would have come when it came out of the factory. And seeing this here now in this state such a car that's so rare it's going to be brilliant to be able to take it back I just wished that there wasn't so many bad bits on it that you can all see but I know with a lot of hard work we'll get there so the interior it is pretty rotten that is something that I'd look to go full bore on and get maybe a Newton replacement for something to make really luxurious I think that was Di Tommaso's idea at the time the range of clocks that are in there they're superb it's telling you everything about the engine about what's going on there's also a lot of pull handles in there to open the bonnet and the boot there's an extra stick on the steering column it really does feel luxurious even compared to the Mini and the Metro as well it just smells a bit badly in there at the moment the metal on the car some of it's there some of it's straight some of it's got nice big rust holes in that's nothing that scares us too much as we can still source parts I've got Italian family members who who are able to speak Italian and, and maybe do some translating for me the welding that would be down to my friend he knows how to do that I can assist him in that it's just at the moment funds and time are a little bit sparse but we are going to be getting on this as soon as possible I'm just hoping that it is a true right hand drive British model it would be fantastic to have one of the only ones about and it will be great to share my story and my journey along with you guys too <laughs>
that's it for another week of mini diaries thank you for watching if you've enjoyed it don't forget to hit that thumbs up button also don't forget to leave any comments down below i hope that you're enjoying my vlogs i hope that you're enjoying my journey and also looking forward to what's coming this summer i can't wait to get out of the garage i've been working very hard on the mini on my other projects and as you may be able to see behind me we've managed to turn the yard around as well we've had a nice spring clean up it has left me a little bit behind and unfortunately i'm not going to be uploading next week i need to catch up i still will be filming my content i still will be working on the car i just need to give the vlogs a week's break don't worry though i'll come back bigger and stronger with plenty of content too the mini will be going to plenty of shows this year you will be able to see it around i've got plenty of ideas for other videos coming up i've got my two other projects to be involved with and work on let alone all of the other club stuff that goes on around me as well so please stay tuned and hit that subscribe button don't forget to check out my journey on instagram at mini dobby there's loads of photos on there i'm starting to do quite well with that it'd be great if you could go and take a look and give me a follow and also i've got my stickers i hope to be putting a website together soon and i'll be putting them on there for sale i've also got my hat as you may have seen i'm developing that at the moment something that i'm putting together myself so maybe you guys could let me know if you would support my journey and possibly buy some of my merchandise leave a comment down below and let me know what you might like to see it'll all be appreciated as i am very busy i'm spreading myself just slightly thin but i think i can achieve it if i keep working hard as i said though i will be back in a couple of weeks please stay tuned be safe and stay lucky